Kia ora from Aotearoa, it's Poppy here with the current ninth wave sacred mind calendar energies which come to the sun, come through the sun every day to us and give us this beautiful energy um, which affects our consciousness and our growth and our evolution and if we're really well connected with nature we will receive these anyway and um, and, and many people do. And so often all around the world you'll notice that people are saying similar things along these lines if they are really well and truly connected in with nature. And this is actually what this night wave is very much about. It's in 11 Earth and um, it's a gateway energy that synchronizes us with our connection to Earth's ways and energies through her embodied presence and our presence also embodied in ourselves as cosmic beings. It is time to return to natural ways of living separate from technology. It's actually interesting. Technology is almost like a shortcut to meet needs, but it will never fulfill them over time. We can actually be the technology that that we can actually start to learn how to heal our bodies, how to speak to the waters and be safe in this floods and all this um, weather, which is not all natural. Um, with our own nature and their own natural being, we actually have more power when we have fully reclaimed it back. And we've got clear of all those entities attached to our id, creating an id entity. Uh, everyone has them. And um, and it's a time for them to drop away so that we can be the full presence of ourselves, unhindered and, and not influenced by any other energy, which is not ourselves. Um, so we may connect with pure natural and organic knowledge in connection with it. And we may contribute in tending to earth's gardens and avoiding all the drugs and chemical concoctions and processed food that dull our life force energy and poison ourselves and the planet with all the packaging and, and the transportation that it takes to pollute it. Like we're seriously eating things from the other side of the world and the amount of energy it takes to even ship it here is huge. And it does actually go against nature's will. We're actually better off eating seasonal things from our own gardens and our own environments. That's what's um, best for us. So it is time to know how and um, be steps ahead of the Hunger Game agendas because, yes, they're definitely in effect and many of us have seen it coming for a long time. So have your heirloom seeds <laughs> on hand, all of those sorts of things because as communities we are going to have to collaborate to, to nurture and feed each other. Um, whereas those that have been in control of, of the earth that, and that is rapidly leaving, um, they have had these agendas and they're really throwing at us because it's almost, their time is almost up and then we will be just clearly co-creating this new earth together, um, unhindered by that influence. Yeah, so that's mind control and Kabbalistic law enforcement and intervenes um, and it changes in our consciousness um, that have to power, we have the power to eliminate this hold in our lives and current home planet. So we are here to contribute to this process of ascension, which is uh, frequency quickening. It's a rise in, in, you know, it's a rise in the frequency. Earth herself is keen to guide us and share cosmic knowledge with us for this purpose, and it's all held in her waters. Uh, through her body, through her presence, just as, as it is held in ours. And so we can even access it from our own body, our own nature, because we are made of the same matter as our beautiful Mother Earth. So most of this night wave is in the sun tracina. So source enlightenment and earth cosmic knowledge may nourish our consciousness, giving us health, vitality, balance, grounding, and more enlightenment as we consciously connect so let's tune in with her will and honour and cherish her. She is finally rising out of bondage and suppression, as we are. 
And as she terraforms, let's attend to her and synchronize to her guidance, which is so filled with love. And halfway through, um, you can see right at the bottom of the of the um, trough is seven death. And this is where the nine day phase, we change direction. Um, and that's where the nine day phase begins, which holds its energy for that nine days. And, and that's in seven death. Um, so the central port of the point of the night wave and the central point of the sun tracena. Okay, so profound reflections for transformation and death or possible rebirth. So when a soul's purpose completes, the body will release it into the next phase of its evolution. And many souls have completed their purpose now. Um, Mother Earth is not taking subjugation and abuse and is cleansing toxic areas, which may even include entire cities. Now, some of this isn't natural as well. I'm, I'm aware of that. So we can, in our meditations and our reflections, we, we can actually give our love and energy um, to these places. Um, exposure is being cast by the sun on this toxicity. And we may also support the earth and nature by connecting heaven and earth and our soul centers of our physical form. And that's sort of like what will be happening a lot during that red tracena, which is happening just at the end of the nine day phase. We may also support the earth and nature by connecting heaven and earth and our soul centers of our physical form spiritual insight from the inside will be clearer so remain present in the body avoid astral travel out of body experiencing um, which can be dangerous and open us up to other things and um, and we can be used and hijacked for other purposes in in doing that so it's very important that we stay present and in our bodies and we have to learn how to do that how to consciously be in our bodies it's it's so easy to disassociate uh, especially in the face of trauma that we perceive so or maybe in, absorbed observed <laughs> with insight and we do have a solar eclipse dark moon um, and that is in the energy of four night and so that's going to last for a big long time a good six months or so we will be forming and stabilizing Mother Earth's dream of balance and harmony. And um, we do that in connection with her, attention to her, in communication. And the, they're saying that there's going to be a ring or a, uh, a ring of fire eclipse. And these are, are new things. The last eclipses have been there, but um, not everyone's aware. And um, I, well, I'm aware of it and I've seen it and um, many of my beautiful psychic friends who remote view and everything can see this quite clearly and, and a lot of people are seeing it and actual photos are that there is a second sun like behind our sun and so it makes the sun appear bigger than what it is so normally in an eclipse the the moon will be in front of the sun and it, it will actually black it out completely but we will have this uh, fire halo looking thing around it now because we do have that second sun Nibiru or Planet X as it's more commonly known. <laughs> so interesting with the whole X awareness. Um, yeah. So now just to break down each day. Um, I look at each day when I'm putting together the chart to get a, a real good overview of what's happening in the whole night wave. So we've already had 11 Earth. I'm a little bit late with putting this together. I'm doing a little bit of a cancer treatment which is a bit painful and so that does um, take you know I need to give my energy to that more so sometimes anyway night wave 138 11 earth that's a gateway energy that synchronizes us with our connection to earth's natural ways and energies bringing back natural ways of living especially regarding health and vitality as it's you know it starts in the dear Tresina, the 11th day of the dear Tresina. So Earth is a source of knowledge. Ancient memory is held in her waters and she loves us to remember to free ourselves. And then right as I'm saying this, we're just ending off the energy of 12 knife, 
which is about clear seeing, reflecting and cutting away unnatural things and projections that are not natural. So wisdom comes away, wisdom to cut away consciousness that usurps Mother Earth. So basically, look, we have a natural world and we have an unnatural world and people are choosing one or the other. Uh, many people are getting kind of sucked in and drawn in um, to to an unnatural world and we have been living in more so in an unnatural world than a natural world just with um, having to make money and be you know still under um, the duality era which we're really coming out of now strongly we're coming more strongly into unity consciousness which starts from inside first and then we go to 13 storm and this is upgraded psychological belief systems upgrade to ascend us higher and clear and receive clear enlightenment through the sun tracena of unconditional light, truth and love. So intense emotions can come up um, and they may guide us to access enlightenment and to clear blockages and attachments. And then we'll start the sun tracena. Um, so one sun, our soul power, solar power, may rise and shine and experience pure love. So as the light exposes truth and what has been hidden or occult, it's a miracle to still remain in the presence of love. It's because we no longer judge it, like we've seen it, we've observed it, and then we deal with it um, as we are enlightened to do so. And so that way we, we can still experience um, love and joy and, and sometimes even bliss while there's chaos and terrible things that we would have once, you know, perceived happening around us. But remember, we've been in millennia, in millennia of terrible things, terrible, terrible things that have been happening. So much of it's sort of um, being shown on the surface now. More people are starting to notice, but there has been... Um, million I mean <laughs> thousands of years of um, blood sacrifice um, which all came in in this dualistic era and then we go to two alligator and um, this is birthing beyond polarity so the two is like the polarity um, the extremes and we find unity in it <laughs> we actually transcend polarity Birthing can be vulnerable, and ultimately it would be protected from outer harm. A uh, lien, and so alien. When you look at the word lien, it means a binding contract. And <laughs> a, a beautiful friend of mine drew me to to this word, um, alien. Actually, when you break down that word, it's alien. And their technology is spelling, so of course you know it will come into different language. So this technology surrounds everyone at present. Uh, so nurturing this process in nature and finding ways to clear, to be clear of AI and nanobots and all of those things, um, and that technology may be wise. And to really get into our own natural, um, our own natural abilities, which um, are, as we're claiming our energy back for where it's all been taken, um, where our souls were entangled with other other things that were taking our energy and we've been calling it all back so that means that our energy will also come back to us and we will be empowered and we will be able to to youth to birth and and live in a very new reality as we collaborate together and that then we have three wind and this is the breath of life activates us with honest communication the sun is enlightening our minds with source energies to aspire to naturally uh, be with gratitude. May we inspire in honesty. It's quite interesting because like almost like the flip side of gratitude is worship. And um, worship is actually something where you give energy to something. But our source energies do not need that energy and they would rather that we worked with the energy that they um they love to connect and share with us and then we have the, the solar eclipse um and that's going to be the energy of four night 
um, I'll just read that again. We give form to and add stability with Mother Earth's dream of all beings living abundantly. Like we have a frequency which is going to be our abundance. It's going to work directly with abundance because all of time is collapsing. It's culminated to now due to the clearings many um, have had through lifetimes even through through many planets, um, some people will understand that. Many beings have harmonized these and unified them within, having learned cosmic lessons. And this may be experienced beyond the false time matrix that still binds many. So we've got to get you know away, ultimately. The false time construct is the alien technology. It is... It is the calendar systems that are dominant in the earth and in all the way that it was created um, out of um, malevolent and beneficent gods, which brought in the whole good and bad um, psychology. And, and in duality, things are very much about good and bad, but in unity consciousness, it's just like we are with what is in, in observation and it's actually we're far more empowered this way to be observing. Um, and that means that that our power and ability and our frequency is what matters. Then we come to five seed, empowered to grow authentically by the source light through the sun. So the seed has all coding within it to break out of the darkness of the seed case and reach towards the sun. Yeah, it's almost like a lot of us, you know, I feel like it too. I felt like I was in the darkness um, most of my life, like in a seed case. And um, even in, med in meditation, it was still possible to connect with the, with the light frequencies. <laughs> it's quite miraculous because I do believe that photons are on our DNA. The light is on our DNA. Six Serpent, the flow of organic movement within the natural time-space continuum, the, the flow of movement in the body causes our energy to flow freely. So this could be a day of flow, but also physical flow, um, energy flow. And Seven Death, that is the nine-day phase. At the depth of the night wave, we experience the stillest place to reflect and transform by surrendering what no longer serves life, many beings have served their purpose now and made a part. And these, these are soul choices. So it's we are probably going to find the most ease if we honour those. I mean, it's very, very sad when we lose people. Um, and, you know, we will just naturally be with that and, and feel so... These people who, who do choose, um, who have finished their life purpose, they may be born into another reality that serves their evolution. And their soul makes those choices for that. And that's their um, way. And it, it, we cannot impose on that. Soul splitting and soul shards, we call it back. Anything that is left out there in the field, anything that's got entangled out there, anything that is attached to, to something. So the ability to check this out and see into the spirit world is, is enhanced in this energy. And then we come to eight, dear, integrating health and vitality, strengthening and stillness to fortify the self for endurance. We do need endurance in these times. That strength, that strength of the dear. Connection with Mother Earth balances and grounds our being. Gratitude is a pure and natural result of this connection. And then of course, as I said before, worship is a whole different thing that is not natural at all. Um, nine star. Harmony may happen and it may even get us singing with rising frequencies once we adjust. Um, I do actually notice that every star star day, um, people can often feel quite shaken up because the frequency rises and we do have to adjust. <laughs> and this could be quite a big one because this is about ending the you know grand cycles. So grand cycles may complete regarding the high checking of our vibration with awareness. We close down these cycles and may enjoy our more authentic presence. So much more. Ten water. 
the challenge of water and purification, we may connect with Earth's cosmic knowledge within her waters. We may interact lovingly with her water, with intentions of purifying our inner waters, as Mother Earth's waters also purify through our living con- connection. We've got to get our lymphatic movement um, um, going, you know, cleaning and draining out the toxins of our body. And um, I know this one for big time. And lymph drainage is a great practice. If you are aware, it's a good thing to do um, because the lymph doesn't have a pump like the blood. So we actually have to get it pumping ourselves. If we were like more active in nature and getting out in the fields and and working and things, of course, and doing yoga and things like that, it would be pumping more naturally. But a lot, uh, we're not, you know, a lot of us are not as active until we can be. Oh, I can't wait till I'm that active again and can I get fully back into my yoga practice. So the lymph drainage is really good to getting to keep keep the lymph symptom pump, pumping and cleansing through the body. And the fiery passion and intense love from within our blood, our vital life force, works with our emotions, guiding us to forgive what may still be called up for that from our past. And this is over many lifetimes, over through all space and time, because all time is culminating. So it's a big deal. (laughs) So, you know, um, be kind and be gentle to yourself. Forgiveness frees us of the stagnation blocks and dams in our waters so they may run clear and pristine. And I really get the sense of this. I really see surging underground waters in Mother Earth that are are there, that are rising and cleansing and moving. It's in her too. Eleven Dog, having established the way to open the flow of true love, we may extend loyalty, justice, and soul tribe connection with others. This is because um, we are social beings, and a lack of, of social support and networking um, actually makes us sick. I know this. <laughs> and, um, you know, I've had to do a lot of work on myself so that I can even attract that around me because... Um, because of just the extremes of, of, of my situation. And, um, you know, I have lovely people that, there's a few people that are part of my soul tribe. I appreciate them so much. Twelve monkey, wisdom, intelligence, curiosity, and innocence merge, ripening our minds with sacred cosmic knowledge, holding it tightly, playful of you, observing our surroundings, upturning secrets and hidden stuff that may be dealt with. 13 Road, and this is an ascending energy of our destined purposes, preparing us for for the Red Tracina, where we may be strong like a pillar, connecting heaven and earth within, so that their will is created through our community collective collaboration and this is also I think where their will becomes our will and it's just the most gorgeous thing when their will becomes our will you know um it's so beautiful it's so rewarding it's just so pure it's so lovely it's so natural and it's so organic and wholesome yeah when you know it you know it and then we start the read Tresina. So one read, unity in the community, happening naturally through those who have chosen to purpose their lives for new earth life and living. We birth it and co-create it. And what is your calling? You know, like sometimes it's just good to reflect on on what the calling is, you know, because it, it, it strengthens our purpose. And when we have a, you know, when we have a purpose or a goal, then we have more direction in life. And so um, it's a wonderful thing to jaguar it's to be with mother earth in connection or not and to learn more through our nature-based meditations and take the initiative to live and contribute to nature or not so you can see it's all our choice um and it's not about right and wrong every soul or every being is on their own path of evolution and they are learning lessons. They are all we are all evolving at a different at a different pace. Um, there are those of us who really have sought mastery, which is absolutely perilous and challenging, <laughs> to say the very, very, very least. Um, 
but yeah, I'm not going to be smug about it at all. It, it is it, it is absolutely a humbling experience um, to have to face the extremes of human depravity to be able to access it, release it, and, and come back into the unified field of consciousness so that it's all balanced and harmonized up. And it, it, it is all like a whole big um, ocean of everything and everything is in balance and harmony we won't ever forget the lessons that we've learned and so we truly have evolved and we did have to go through the eras of duality to learn that if we wanted to actually master our souls um they do say that earth school is the hardest school um and you know to to be here assisting an ascending planet i mean maybe finally we start to see it as an honor but oh my gosh I, it was just total trauma so often for me but overall it's an honor um to get to a point of beautiful healing and you know i still keep healing things there's still repressed memories there's still suppression there's still parts of me that um may still be yet to be discovered and and all of us and this will be um a great time of healing especially the six months uh, where we are creating um, more of a new earth type of way of living that is supporting each other in in that healing and in, in assisting others um, who are wanting to claim back the fullness of their souls yeah and there's lots of people who are doing wonderful work um, there and when we really um, put our intentions out we voice them out it's prayer and we ask you know to find that assistance and that help it it comes it it, it came for me like um yeah I was in a very very dangerous situation 11 months ago and 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 someone who had the knowledge and had the wisdom that I needed um she was there she came into my life and and now um you know we are part of our, our tribe together anyway this was an intuitive perspective of the ninth wave true time sacred mind calendar energies in connection with mother earth that's life force source and planetary materialization of consciousness and father sky source of the energetic light frequencies from the cosmic axis um, these are the light frequencies that come through the sun and I'm just going to say this are intended for entertainment purposes um, let's entertain the unified field with our own clearing consciousness so much love to you